Hello everyone, have you ever wondered what the difference is between corn on the cob and popcorn? Here is Dr. Raj having a friendly chat with a local corn cob vendor at a beach in Chennai. Let's hear what he had to say. Do you want to suit a suit? Or do you want to suit a suit? Two or three minutes. Two to three minutes. Do you want to suit a popcorn? That's the ordinary corn. Yes. Ordinary corn. Yes. Yes. Ordinary corn. Is it? This is sweet corn? Yes. That's the ordinary corn. Okay. What is the difference between sweet corn? Harder. Oh, harder. Very harder. Oh, more mature. That's more mature. Even if you're young, fresh. Yeah, yeah. Side. Oh, okay. The good news is that both the corn on the cob and popcorn can be healthy. Corn on the cob is a good source of antioxidant, fiber and vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin A as well as being low in calories and fat. However, note that sugar does play a role in mature corn on the cob, specifically in sweet corn. This is because a sweet corn is harvested at the mature stage as that is when the kernels are fully developed. The kernels are rich in sugar which gives this corn a sweet taste. Popcorn is a whole grain fruit that is also low in calories and fat. With it being high in fiber, it can help us with digestion and weight management. Popcorn can also have a high level of polyphenols, antioxidant compounds found in plants that have been associated with heart health. What makes a popcorn unhealthy is when it is prepared with butter or oil, as it can become high in saturated fat and calories, making it unhealthy to consume regularly. So if eating a popcorn at home, season lightly to reduce the additional calories and being added to this movie snack favorite.